Hi again, everybody. Uh, thanks for your company again today. We're reflecting on uh, God's Word. We're reflecting on 1 John, the um, first letter of John. and We're into chapter 2. We're making good progress through chapter 2. Uh, last week, towards the end of last week, we were talking about the Antichrist, those who stand against Christ as the Messiah. In the last couple of days, Monday and Tuesday of this week, we've looked at the difference that we have uh, because of the truth that we have. So verse uh, 22, 1 John 2, 22, um, kind of uh, continues that conversation. Who is the liar, John asks. It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. So John is harking back to what, verses uh, 18 and 19, where he's talked about the Antichrist, and he's talked about um, those who... Um, the, the, the many antichrists who have come, some of whom have infiltrated uh, the Christian church over the years, uh, some of whom have been active in Christian circles, uh, proclaiming um, untruths, if you will, and uh, sparking um, revolution within the church, if that's not too strong a way of putting it. And, <coughs> excuse me, and, John, um, yeah, John is clear that these people are liars. So having yesterday uh, proclaimed that God is truth, that we know uh, that the Holy One is uh, proclaiming truth, then he contrasts that by referring back to the Antichrist, to those who are the liar, whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Now in, uh, in Romans, um, Paul makes very clear that if we look around creation properly, with our eyes open and our hearts attuned, there is enough evidence for us to see the, uh, the, the truth of God in creation and the magnificence of what he has made. If we look at, at, at our lives, if we look at the emptiness that we have in our lives without Christ, if we look at it, it's just, there are so many different places we could look and so many different um, factors that, that lean towards, point towards, underline the truth that God loves us and that God provided a son, his son, to die for us and to redeem us. And whoever denies all of that is denying that Jesus is the Christ. So whoever is proclaiming that Jesus is not the Messiah, is not the holy anointed one who has come down from heaven to earth to rescue us, well, is a liar. And, as John is uh, emphasizing here, we should have little to do with liars because we're people of the truth. If we're in Christ, uh, we are people of the truth. Uh, so let's live like that and let's glory in that fact. Let me pray. Father God, thank you for your truth. Thank you that you help us uh, to avoid lies and liars. Please uh, keep us strong in that path, we pray. Amen. Bless you. Thank you so much uh, for your faithfulness and for your company. Take care.